Oh, I had to say this orphan. It's an ESE ES112 neutron clock board. Don't know what happened to the case. Case is gone. So anyway, bought this orphan, got it working, and uh, we'll put it in a case. We got a vintage scan stand tour. Yes. P6134 6.3 volt filament transformer which actually this board works perfectly with and small vintage push buttons not really vintage but vintage style and uh, reclaim aluminum chassis with some Torched wood sides. Yeah, whatever's laying around will make it work. Yeah. Piece of plexiglass. Already bent. So we'll put that on top. And we'll get this together and we'll to see how it works. Alright, time for the finishing touch. Board is screwed down. Connections made. New capacitor for the power supply, set switches, display dim, all wired up, counting away, plexiglass top goes on, and it's done. Numatrons, gotta love them. Okay, here's another one. Let's start up together so you can see how the startup glitching works. You see it comes up 21, 13, 69, 70. So, old counters are out of whack again. It's the way these tend to act. So, this one, we're gonna. Just hold the fast set. Similar to the logic clock, but this one has fast set and slow set instead of individual uh, set for the minutes and hours. There we go. Once it rolls over, then we're right to normal operation. So there's our slow set. This one has a hold as well. Um, this is uh, very similar to the logic clock if you saw that video I made. Um, I have another one. This is um, very similar to the ESE I also have. Uh, in fact, this is an ESE, but just a slightly different model board. Um, of course, this case is homemade. And I'll slip in a picture of the case that ESE would have used. This one uh, came out pretty well. Plexiglass, the see-through, see the works look, kind of awesome. I torched the wood, some old pallet wood, and then I put a little linseed oil on it. I think it's good enough. Controls, ventilation holes, drain leaf for power cord. It looks pretty good other than this is a reclaimed chassis. It just has a few extra holes on the bottom, but it is what it is. Work I did on the board is pretty limited. Um, it changed from the filter cap and there's a timing capacitor which is an electrolytic. There's some missing components. The history of this board just came as a um, orphan board, no case, as I mentioned earlier. Um, but this was set up for 50 hertz, 
24 hour time. So I wonder where this came from. Um, must have been overseas, I guess. Uh, here in the U.S., we usually do 12 hour time. And 60 hertz, of course. So there's a little jumper in the board. Um, for the 50 or 60 hertz, hertz selection. And a few other components rearranged. The board is all set up. You just move a few components. Um, and off you go, counting 12 hours. So that's what I did, and that's where we're at. A uh, couple pictures, and it'll see the differences in the component placement. And you can see that right here.